Friends, I have a good friend named Carl Lane. Uh, this is him in the foreground. He's a drummer for a band called Grandma's Medicine. Carl recently asked me what would be the easiest way to do a website for his band. You see here, they got a great Facebook page, and so you can see different events and stuff they're going to be doing. This is uh, August the 25th of 2020 as I'm making this video. And I told Carl I didn't know of any way easier right now to do it than with Google Sites. And so uh, a lot of people are using it. A lot of people don't even know it exists. But it's a great uh, way to make a website nowadays if you actually want to make a website that's not, that's not just a social media thing like this. So I'm going to jump right into what I might do for Carl. I thought I'd show him how this would work. So what I've done, I've, I've went ahead and bought them a, um, a domain which I will point to this site that I'm going to make here, and I'll give Carl rights to edit this. But you, if you have a Google account, you know, if you just, just go to google.com, and you click over here, you got your drive. Now, your drive might be in different places. You can actually drag these things around to different spots. But So here is drive, and you see there's a whole bunch of stuff here that you might not know you've got with Google. Google is just fantastic with a lot of the things they offer, and I think that these sites are great. But you go to your drive, and you go over here to the New button, and you see where you have more here? If you go down here, then you've got Google Sites. Let's see it right here, Google Sites. So I'm going to click on a new Google Site here for Carl. I'm going to show him just how easy it is to do something like this. You see Sharp Dressed Man up here. This is a YouTube video of them playing. I actually took a, a screen capture of that just a minute ago uh, that I will maybe use on their site since I won't need some, some photos of them in action. So uh, what I've done, let me go ahead and just minimize a thing or two here. I've got some Greek text that I'm going to use here just to make some, uh, just, just some boxes of text to show Carl how you can put text in, format it, and then he can go back and put whatever needs to go in there. I also have these screen captures that I did with my Mac. I'm going to pull them over here into a folder I've caught called Grandma. So I've got everything inside this folder called Grandma, all my different resources that I might want to use. And uh, just for my edification so I can see them better, I might want to make them their thumbnail so that I can see things are a little bit bigger and know what I'm grabbing. So this is their band photo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This is their full, ver full version of it. I made a smaller version for the web that I brightened up just a little bit. It looks like that's a little bit brighter. It looks like it was just a tad dark. But what you can do here, of course, is you just uh, put the name of your band or whatever, and whatever you want to call the site, the things, the band's name is Grandma's Medicine Band. And it doesn't have, we can change that header, we can change the image. Of course, we're going to do the image. Maybe we could upload or select an image. Uh, let's upload. And I'll go to desktop. And I'm going to do Grandma. And the one I've got is GMB lineup uh, brightened. GMB lineup brightened. Let's do that and let's see what that looks like as a background. Okay, now looks like we're going to have to adjust that image. So I'd have to probably let's see. Let's see if it, I don't think it'll let me. I'm going to have to. Uh, let's see what that looks like. If we go down to a phone size, it's not bad. At that size, it is going to be bad though because you really can't see the guys. So at, at regular website width, we need to probably change that. So I'm going to go into Photoshop just to be safe about how we do this. And I got GMB lineup brightened. I'm going to make a version of this. I'm just going to crop it down to something like this right here. And that's probably going to get their photo anyway, right? At least their heads. So I'll say File, Save As, and this will be GMB brightened cropped. Of course, you don't have to use Photoshop. You can use something else. I've been doing this at level 12. You might want to do a level 9 or something so, uh, as far as your JPEG option, so it'll be quicker. To, the lower this is, of course, the more quality you lose, but the faster it downloads. So I'm going to say a level 9 for that. Now I'm going to go back here to the, this, and I'm going to change this image. Change image, we'll upload. And we'll use GM Bright and Cropped. Boom. Let's see how that looks. Now there we go. Now, of course, it's darkening. It's adding a filter to it that darkens it. But I think that would work whether you're uh, eh, still still cropping the top of this dude's head off, aren't we? In a wide view, he's the tall guy in the crowd. But still, that might not be a, that might not be bad. We can do it one more time to be safe. Let's do it like this. Okay, 
file save as and this would be junior light and crop 2 we'll call it save well, level 9 works again command W and let's go back and let's do this change image uh, select image and oh darn it don't want to do that a wrong thing I want to do change image and upload and let's get cropped too. Let's see how that looks. And that looks more like what we probably want. Now the thing that's so awesome about this, of course we got add a logo here. Let's go get a logo. Uh, upload. Now I made a 1000 pixel wide version of their logo. I saved it as a ping, a PNG. That might be too big. Let's see, it's 164K. I could have made it much smaller. But let's see how it works. It probably sizes it down. You can see it makes it actually too small almost, doesn't it? But that is, and there may be some way we can make that larger. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How might I do this? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there like that for now. And we'll worry about that just in a minute. Brand image logo, alt text. Hang on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to hang with that for right now, even though that, that looks awfully small. Let me close this. It might actually. I'm going to see if it let us pull on that. Some of these things edit logo. Let's try this. No. Okay. There's got to be some way we can make that a little bigger. So we'll figure that out in here in a minute. But the beauty of this is all this layout and all these things that you've got over here that you just drop in there, man. This is just great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to maybe pull over a, a, a thing like this. Um, a, a layout. So these are custom layouts. You can stack them one on top of another. So I might, uh, you know, include the band or something here in a minute, and we'll do some band stuff. But I might to go here and just add a picture. Now, what you can do, this folder I have open over here, uh, I might decide that I just want to grab one of these images from here, right, and just pull it right over onto that. So you don't necessarily have to. Uh, and you can see you can pull these things, just grab the corner and make them bigger. You don't have to do a whole lot of layout or design or anything. Now I could go here, uh, uh, Morgantons. We'll call it Burke. They are Burke County, I think. Counties. Craziest. <laughs> cool. Uh, what are they? They're, they're uh, classic rock. Rock dudes. <laughs> Carl decide what he wants to say about this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to grab some of this, uh, lower me up some stuff over here. This is just, you know, typical old Greek, Greek mess you put in here just, just as a placeholder so he can decide what he wants to say about them. But look how easy it is to, to do this. Now, of course, that's probably not the look of the font that they want. Uh, you have got, uh, I think you've got, you've got options here for fonts. Clear formatting, what does that do? That just means, okay, I see. Let's undo that, Command-Z, still works. Um, title, heading, we're going to do heading, title. Looks like titling, probably somewhere. Now here again, I'm, I'm going to have to learn a few things myself here. I think there's got to be some way that we can uh, manipulate this stuff. Looks like definitely you can pull it width-wise. Okay. What does that thing do? Remove readability adjustment. What does that mean? Oh, I see. No, okay. And isn't that cool? So you got this kind of thing here to make it more readable. So that's kind of a neat thing there. Header type, we can go back here and we can do different kinds of headers. Title only? No. We want the cover? No. We want large banner? Oh, check that out. Or banner. Okay. Now, see, if we went with large banner here, then all I got to do is, again, I've got the name, we've got the logo up here, and now all I do is change image, and I can select image, and I can go back to, actually, let's not do that. I can go to change image, and actually, I can go to upload, and let's get that other one again. Let's get cropped here, not cropped too. And now that actually works, doesn't it? That's probably the kind of header that we want. 
Now does it resize when we go down? It, this one does not. So that's something the band's going to have to decide as whether they want one that's going to resize for a telephone or not. Of course we do have this image. This, this thing behind them is our uh, jailhouse gallery, our art gallery. So what we could do here, I got three different columns. You also got a two column one here. Say you wanted to feature the band, uh, you can put a three column. I would put a, probably another three column here. And then you can actually delete one of these. And what that does, that keeps all three, all five, since there are five members of the band, uh, you could have a different band person in each one of them. And what we could do here in Photoshop, let's go here and open, let's create new, close, actually not. Let's open their original version here. And I could go in here and get one of each of these guys. So what I'm gonna do, instead of doing this all in Photoshop, I'm going to do it a quick way. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to do screen capture of each of the guy's heads right quick. So this is kind of cool. I'll do a Shift Command 4, Shift Command 4 on my Mac. I'm just going to crop that the way I think it should be. Shift Command 4, uh, get this dude here. Shift Command 4, get my brother Carl. Shift Command 4, get this guy here. He's one of the singers and bass player. And then here, Shift Man 4, another singer and guitar player. And so what we've got now, and this is just me doing it the way I might do it. I've got these on the screen over here now. Should be all five of them. I put them over here in Grandma as well. There's the fifth one. And now I can actually pull each and every one of them over here. So if I want to go left to right, we just do this. We do this. We do this. Uh, we do this. So I'm just showing Carl what can be done. And I don't know all the dude's names, so I'm going to go ahead and do here. I know Carl Lane. And Carl is a drummer. Drums, vocals. And then we can pick some lorem ipsum in here for Carl. Uh, so he can decide what he wants to say about himself. Command V. And if you have extra space here, just delete it, delete it, and then you're gonna, you know, come up there. The thing that's neat here again, I think we should be able to maybe drag these guys and position them. I love that you got this kind of positioning functionality here. Just grab these boxes, <clears throat> and now you got all five of them. So we got uh, Patrice guitarist. We'll call this a uh, band dude. One. This will be band dude two. And then we got band dude three. And band dude four. Okay. And then we can put some little bit of text in for each one of these guys. Don't matter what. Uh oh, command C. And V. And here. Command V. So that it's a little different. We'll start there with the M. We'll go back here and do a D, big D on that dicta. And then we'll go in here and do band dude here. So I'm just showing you how this might work out if you wanted to make your band sign. It's like pretty little trees, isn't it? Like that dude that used to do that. <laughs> Now, here you go. So again, it's super, super easy, clean and easy and simple. I'm just deleting those lines so we don't have anything hanging. Now say we wanted to have another kind of layout down here that talks about events they're going to have. So I did three on that. Maybe we'll do two down here, a two layout. And I could go to their Facebook right quick. And I can see that they're going to be at Brick Brewery. Brewery. So I might, uh, what am I going to do here now? So here I have their uh, event, and I've got a URL for it. I might use one of the band pictures or something for this. So let's go ahead and get maybe a shot of them playing here. And uh, then we know it's going to be, I can copy this on Facebook. I said Grandma's Brewing, Saturday at Brick Tree Brewing Company, couldn't I? Get it at this time, Command C. Let me go back here and go here and Command V. And how about that, my friend? Uh, 
and maybe we don't want that because we already got Brick Brewing Company in there already and text and then we could go here Grandma's Medicine and we could say um, let's just go ahead and grab this we'll see more grab this bit right here now here again this will be on their social media anyway let's well, we can left justify that by clicking over here like that and say uh, learn more put that and here we go here and the only problem with doing this way is I'm gonna copy that URL is if people aren't on Facebook then they really can't go to this link I don't think it'll let them go to it maybe I'm wrong but I'm gonna put the link here we're gonna hit the link button we're gonna go to command V and we're gonna apply it so there we go and let's put another event here while we're at, over here see where else these guys are playing and it uh, that was November Okay, Grandma's Medicine. Was it another one here? Okay, at Toe Jam and Spruce Pine. It's my old hometown. So I'm going to go to that one. And then we'll get all of this one. Command C. And we'll go to the site. And we'll go here. Command V. I might do it this way. I'll leave the uh, location. Let's see. Well, we could do this. Spruce Pine NC. All I did was back that up and then it accepted the formatting of that. Now, I don't want any, any spaces underneath that. Let's get our text from over here. Grandma's Medicine, da 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 Okay, please check fees. We'll go ahead and get this. Command C. We'll go back here, and I'm going to do this. Command V. Uh, this time it looks like it is uh, justified left. I don't need this extra space at the bottom. And here, uh, learn more. Let's do another learn more. I'm just going to grab this one. Now, it's got the wrong link. But we'll fix that. We'll get the right link here. And so that's going to be this one. Command C. So we don't have to just set up, set up and use Facebook. We could use, we could set up a special pages then. I'll, I'll show you how to do that just in a minute. But so here we go. We're going to do a learn more and we're going to hit our link. We're going to actually edit the link. Command A, Command V, and apply. And now we got the new link, right? We need to need a picture over here. So I might grab one of these cool pictures from the night that they were playing. I shot this and with a 4K camcorder. All right, you might have a footer in here. I don't know if this thing has a footer or not. I was looking to see, do we have any kind of special footer? And if not, then you might create your own special footer somehow, some way. I'm looking here to see if there might be a way to, what is this gallery or something? Maybe you wanna put your gallery down here at the bottom and have some additional shots or something. Maybe one of these. Uh, let's see. What have I not used? Maybe this. Uh, maybe I have used that already, but I don't care. Let's just go ahead and put it on there just so we can see how it works. And you might put your footer down here. I swear there's got to be some other way to do this. I guess what you could do is grab one of these and put it down here. Get rid of the picture, right? And then you've got text that you can just drag out here as long as you want to drag it out, and that's sweet. And uh, we can put their slogan in here. I know they've got a slogan of some sort. See, actually, that might not be bad to put right in here. Uh, one of these, since I've used this picture. Let's see if I put their slogan in. Ah, hit it and do. Command Z, don't want to do that. Let me grab their uh, logo. Logo final ping. Let's put that there. Nope. Edit and do. Command Z. I did it the wrong way. Okay. I want to upload. I want to upload an image. Replace the image with an upload. And I'm going to do their logo. Ping. Open. Okay. It does seem like it would let me, there we go, kind of pull this thing out a little bit and maybe over, down, out. Whatever would work, here's what I want. I want to be able to see all of that, right? Hmm. That is a challenge, that right there now. How do I change the inside? I guess what I'd have to do maybe is make the, I'd put some outside on this, right? So maybe to make that work, I'd have to actually go here back to Photoshop 
and file open the logo. Open Grandma's Medicine logo. File, okay. Image size, let's go to 1000. Okay, let's make it 800. Okay, and okay. And image canvas size, maybe that's what I would want to do. And we'll make it about 1000. And 1000. Now we've got a little bit around the outside. We'll say File Save As. We'll call this Grandma's logo spaced. I'm not going to save it as Photoshop. I'm going to save it as a ping since that's transparent. Save. OK. And W. Close it. Don't save. Let's go over here to this. Now let's try replacing this thing again. There we got that. We can upload. upload. And there's the spaced one. And that works much better, doesn't it? There we go. There's always a way around something. So, Grandma's Medicine, and they do have a, a, a tagline. Uh, let's try. I wonder if I put that tagline in there. Maybe that's what I should do. Uh, we could still have the footer in here, though. We could, have, we could have links or anything across the bottom of the page if we wanted to. Let's see if that tagline will go in there if I insert an image. Can I do it? Okay. Can I insert an image there? Upload. Yes, I can. Uh, let's get, uh, where is it here? Tagline pin. I made the tagline maybe too big. I don't know. I'm wondering, can that be up here with this? Looks like it's going to go one side or the other, doesn't it? Interesting. So maybe what I do is I make this smaller, make this bigger. Anyway, you're getting the gist of how this works. It works awesomely, just not always predictably. <laughs> so here we go. I can do it this way, can I? And here again, it looks like you might want to make these things with a little bit of space around them, which I have not done. Let me go File, Open. And let's open the uh, tagline ping. Let's open the PSD version. And image size, let's say I go a thousand wide with that. Okay, and image canvas size, and I go, I don't know, 1250 wide and what? 320 tall, maybe. Okay, boom. Now file save as, and this will be Grandma's Medicine tagline. I want to save it as a pin, and we're going to say uh, spaced, and save. Okay. Now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to replace that. Upload, select image, and we're going to pick the spaced one. Ah, oh, crap! I don't want to do select image. I want to do uh, here and replace image and upload. Here's what I want to do. It's based, open, boom. Command, let's see, let's just kind of back off here from what we got. Now we've got something we can look at and I think that will work for them. So we might want to make this something different than what I've got here. Uh, links or important links. And we could put a bunch of different links here. Link one, link two. Might be better if I did uh, the thing like that, right? Link three. And put that thing there in LINK four. And then we could center those babies perhaps. And we could also make them bigger. Subheading or whatever we want here. And now we've got a little site that's looking kind of cool. So we might, each one of these guys might want their own page. Uh, so this guy, we ought to go in here and say guitar vocals.
Okay. Now, so say they want to have a separate page. You got pages over here, right? So we can create a new page. Home, we can say plus. Okay, and this would be a Carl's page. Or Carl Lane, we'll call it Carl Lane. And we'll say done. And so Carl's gonna have a page here. Now, we don't have to have this kind of header. We can go, we can change this to be a header with just Carl playing his drums, or we can change it to be a different kind of header type, just a title only, Carl Lane. And we can start building in, and we to start insert things like we did over here. We can pull this over here for Carl. And let's see, we can find another cool picture of Carl in here. Uh, we can go up here to their, put their plain sharp dressed man and see if we got a, sometimes Carl has some images here. That's him playing drums in the background. Oh, that's a good shot of Carl, maybe. We can make this a little bigger here. Go to uh, theater mode. And that's not the best image of Carl, but that's a, a way to get Carl. And so that is now saving to my desktop. Now here again, this, this, this could be anywhere. It don't have to be in this folder. I'll just put it in the folder to make it easy to do. But here's Carl. Let's drag Carl over here. And uh, Carl Lane, our, our drummer. Carl Lane. And here we got Carl's bio or something over here. We'll do some of this over here. Now, what's happened? You see, we've got home and we've got Carl up here. We click back to home, we've got this here. And now we've got a Carl Lane. And you might want to have one that's uh, insert a page is called gigs, our, our, our shows, or uh, uh, yeah, what we want to say, pages. Let's do a new page. Let's say uh, uh, our shows. Done. Okay, now you see shows shows up before Carl now, and you can drag these around to different places. If you wanted Carl to be before shows, you do that. It's amazing how simple this is, but that's probably what you want here. And then you want to get another cool photo of them doing something. And uh, again, we go back to this if we want to. That's a good shot right there. Right, let's grab that. That's way bigger than it needs to be. Now the thing about what I'm doing is screen captures. These things are getting huge, and they shouldn't be that big. I need to go back into Photoshop and resize them because it's particularly with their pings, they're bigger than they could be with JPEGs. JPEGs would be better, but that's all right. We're just playing around for now. It is an image, so there it sits. And then we're gonna go over here, and for instance, for shows, we might want to change this image and upload, and we'll get that screenshot right there. And now we got one we could we do. I wonder if that adjusts for readability. We could take that off for this one. Uh-oh, there we go. Let's go back to home. So now I'm back home. We do have a shows page. And again, we can start pulling out we can do maybe two on this one. And we can start pulling video or uh, photos back in just to show again how easy it is to do it. Ah, I did that wrong. Command Z, always Command Z will fix these things. I already pulled that one. Let's pull this one back up here again. So you see, you make these things work so very, so, so, so very easy. Now, we've not called this thing anything, but I'm going to call it Grandma's Medicine. And so now, what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and publish this. This is just a play around site right now, anyway. So I'm going to say publish. We'll publish the entire site, and it's going to be Grandma's Medicine. Right now, this is the URL. You can see you can do a custom URL, and that's where I'm going to take the site that I bought a while ago, grandmasmedicineband.com, or grandmasmedicine.band is what it's going to be. And I'm going to make that the custom URL, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Right now, I'm going to request that public search engines do not display the site since this is just playing around for the guys, and they're going to want to go there and mess with it anyway. So I'm going to say publish. So right now the site has been published and we don't have to look at it in this way anymore, we can look at it a different way. You can go up here and get copy published site link. See this here? Okay, we're going to copy the link. So this is a temporary, it still says sites.google instead of grandmasmedicine.band. 
But here we go. We can put it in here. Let's see what the site looks like. And boom. Okay, I did the wrong dang thing. But let's see if I go home here. Okay, I should have got the other link. But now you can see how things would work. And it is responsive design already. The logo is tiny. That's the one thing I want to fix. I'd like to get the logo to be big. It might even mean I've got to superimpose the logo on here, but there's some way to do that, I'm sure. I didn't create a link from Carl's image over. That would be something cool we could do right quick. So what have I done here? I want this to be a link. Insert link to Carl Lane. Apply. And I want this Carl Lane here to be a link to Carl Lane. Apply. Okay, all changes have been saved. We're going to publish. Okay, I want to publish. Publishing. Okay, maybe it had to go to that first. Now let's try refreshing. And now it looks like Carl is a link. Let me go back to home. I want Carl's name it should be a link. And there we go. Let me go to shows. We go to home, and that's as simple as it is. Now, one of the things I've done here, like I say, a lot of these images, the reason they're coming in slow is because I have done screen captures of pings rather than turning these into JPEGs. The number one thing I would do to speed this entire thing up would be take every one of these images and turn them into JPEGs, like this image here of, uh, of Carl. Let's look at it, uh, get info. And I can see right quick that's a meg. It shouldn't be. If I did that picture as a Photoshop or as a JPEG, I could make it down to about 50K. And all this stuff would load quickly. I just did this to show the drag and drop functionality, kind of how web pages are made and stuff like that. And of course, you could put links down here. The sky is sort of the limit, folks. So I'll show you a few things I did do in the end just to clean it up a little bit. I did go back and, and recrop these, make them into JPEGs so they're not pings and they're not huge. I did add some uh, social media links at the bottom of the page down here. So this will go to their YouTube site and it will go to their Facebook page. And I don't know if the guys are on uh, Twitter or uh, Instagram. They certainly could be. I'd have to get their, their info on that. I haven't included any YouTube videos. I should have done that. I did put a sample set list in here. Uh, so they could, you know, of course that's not their set list. I just grabbed that from somewhere else as a sample. Uh, I did make like an hour gear page where they could talk about the gear they have. I left some blocks here open, some things they might want to put in there, transportation, or I don't know what else. But they might want to boast about their sound system, what kind of gear and stuff they have, or if they have keyboards, I don't know. And so um, did that. Uh, here again, going back to home. If I go over here to the page where I do the actual edits, I'll put that back over here for a minute. Uh, these things, social media things, were easy to bring in. Like say, I want to bring a, um, put another one in here just for example. I don't, I don't think I need to do that. But you just go here and go insert and insert an image and then you'd hit upload and then here is probably another Twitter or something as you can see but it came in big like that then all you gotta do is just grab it by the corner get it to a point where it's like that where it fits into one of the columns you pull it up here and then you just size it up and these pictures all size nice and easy and they snap into place and then of course you can just drag them around to wherever you need them to go well, that's what's really excellent about this I'm gonna delete that one so there you go, pretty cool. Now let's say we did want to make a media page. That might be something, and we've got their link to their YouTube down here. Uh, but let's go ahead and add a, like a page, and let's say, um, or is there any place here where we want to put one, maybe. Maybe this, uh, right here, this could be a, a, a YouTube video, right? Rather than a Rather than a photo, let's see if we can do that. Let's insert here. And rather than this photo being here, maybe, what happens if I take that out and I insert a YouTube video, right? YouTube. Okay, I'll go get one of their videos. Let's get, uh, what's my age again? That's a cool song. And I'll get share. Copy. And let's go back to where we're editing here. Let's do that. Command V. Okay, search it, I guess, and click it and select it. 
So it put it here. But what would be the problem putting it up here, right? Let's try that and see. Oh, look at that. Very excellent. And can we size that, I wonder? If I click on that, can I go down with it? Look at that. We actually can make it almost, let's see if that would work. Let's publish that. I'm just curious, does it actually crop the, uh, so I hit that, and I hit publish again to publish it. I wonder if it crops the video. I mean, we're just playing around a little bit here, folks. Let's refresh, here it is. Let's go down here, we should have our video now. Does it? It looks like it crops it, doesn't it? No, it brings it, makes black bars on the side. Then of course they could go to YouTube and watch there. So here again, we could have a um, we could have a page. And we could build a page that is media, and they could put their select videos that they like, or they could put videos here, or they could just have this link down here to YouTube and their various social media. That's all I'm going to do right now for the guys. I don't want to blow their minds, but uh, there you go. Again, peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll check back. Maybe you want to see what's going on with Grandma's Medicine. They are a pretty cool, cool local band. Thanks.